Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and you're watching The Best JS. In this video series, we're learning the basics of Node.js so that you can start making full stack applications. Okay, we've only got three more challenges remaining in this uh, Learn You Node um, sort of module. Uh, can, uh, it's like a command line tutorial that we've been working through. And uh, we're on challenge number 11, the HTTP file server. So. Dag nabbit, I knew that was going to happen again. It's been happening. I press enter and anyway. <laughs> so as usual, uh, pause the video. Make sure that you read the instructions and read the hints and, and everything like that. When you um, read everything, you understand it. Uh, and when you've gone to the documentation and read up some more, then come back to this video and then you can watch me uh, code. And uh, you can code along with me or you can try to code first. Uh, do whatever you have been doing whatever you like. So, okay, I assume you've read it now. So let's require in some modules. We're going to require in HTTP. So let's do that. And same thing for the file system. So we'll do FS. Okay. And we have a couple of things on the command line, some command line arguments. So we have a port, and that's the first command line argument, or the second index, or the third index, rather, and also the file itself. And that's at the uh, third index, number three. Okay, cool. So um, we are going to create a server, const server, with the HTTP method create server. So that's pretty simple to remember. Create server. It's going to take a callback with a request and a response arguments. Okay, perfect. And then our server has to listen on the port that we tell it to listen to. Okay, great. Uh, so right in here, we have a request and a response. So let's go ahead and let's read that file. Uh, we're going to create a read stream. So I'm going to create a new variable, const stream equals fs. I believe it's create read read stream. So we're going to give it a file, and this comes from our command line arguments. And I'm just going to give it a configuration object just to make it um, like encode it properly, so we don't have to call to string on it or anything like that. So uh, the encoding is going to be a string utf8. Okay, perfect. And then all we have to do, this is a stream, so we're going to pipe it to the response. So stream, pipe, response. Okay. And then we're going to learn a node. We're going to verify 11 file server. Let's run it. And all right, awesome. Sure enough. It uh, worked out for us. Okay, cool. So, so anyway, a stream is just um, a, a special type of object that, that we see in Node. Um, it's kind of like a flow of data, and uh, and we can pipe uh, the stream to to you know other arguments or to other functions, and uh, and, and that's how we do it. Okay. So anyway, um, uh, you can read more about stream objects and buffer objects, all that good stuff. Um, through the documentation, but that's more or less what it is. Um, this was a rather easy challenge, but the uh, next two that we're gonna do, the final two, uh, well, they're gonna get more difficult. So anyway, let's take a break. In the next video, we will do challenge number 12, which is gonna be the HTTP uppercaser. All right, so I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Boop.